Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So Trump was denied a reprieve in New York, so they're going to have his trial. Uh, I just saw that Judge Aileen Cannon has denied his pretrial. Uh, paperless order denying with clarification defendant, which is Trump's motion to adjourn pretrial motions deadlines 285. The deadline to file pretrial motions as distinct from motions to Lamine seeking the, ex the exclusion of specific evidence slash arguments from being presented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know the Fanny thing, like all the Fox News people are like, oh, she's toast. I'm going to look at that. She's not toast. So we have a lot of stuff to discuss. But there's one thing I want to bring up to you guys some serious things we need to look at. But one thing I want to bring up to you guys is I've been getting this flash, so I'll just say it. It may happen, may not happen. I see, I hear those, you know, after 9-11, you could hear all the um, beep beeps of the fire department and police department, you know, those little things they wear? I'm hearing that. So I don't know if there's like going to be an explosion or something where people go in and then they're caught inside the building. And it doesn't feel like 9-11, but it feels, I can hear the beep, beep, beep. So I don't know what that's about, but I just have to tell you because, you know, as you know, some of this stuff comes true. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff I wanna get done. Thank you guys. Let's see how many questions I got. Uh, what else did I wanna tell you? Oh, yes, of course. Ooh. I'm so excited, you guys. Apparently, the star witness for the Hunter Biden case. Oh, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this guy. Hold on, I took a picture of it just so I could remember. Um, uno momento, por favor. Where did I put it? Okay, hold on. Uno momento. Okay, here it is. Um, the special counsel investigating Hunter Biden has charged a former FBI informant with fabricating claims that President Biden and his son sought $5 million bribes, which I always thought sounded impossible. I don't know how they were able to say this was fake. So um, from a Ukrainian energy company, according to an indictment in the California federal court, the former informant, Alexander Smirvov, 43, was accused of falsely telling the FBI that Hunter Biden, then serving as a paid member on the board of Burishma, demanded money to protect the company from an investigation by the country's prosecutor at the time. My God, bada bing, bada boom. It's a beautiful thing. Now, okay, hold on. Then I got to look at what you guys, oh, 226 questions. Whoa. So, okay. Before I get into Fonny, I'm going to take a look at that. I do want to, oh, girl, listen, Fonny was fantastic. Oh, my God. She's like, excuse me, were you listening to my answer? Did you hear my answer? I'm like, straight up, girlfriend, come on. <laughs> She's like, mm, mm. And what her, how her daddy told her, she was, I'm telling you what, I love her. I bet you her and I could chill. You know, we'd be talking stuff. But she's... Uh, She's so funny. She even talked about that guy. You know, his, his idea of a woman for him was going to make him a sandwich, which was so rude. But she said, we fought. We fought real bad because that's... But, you know, the fact that she paid for a vacation with him, she, she was probably getting some good loving. You know what I'm saying? Because us women don't know no better. So, um, yeah, the the... I'll look at this formally, but I really think that this goes on. I think the judge believes her. I really do. I think, you know what they're doing now? They're fishing. They just keep asking the same questions in different formats over and over. And that blonde woman that used to be on Fox, they said, oh, she's going down. Nope. Watch, watch this space. She's not going down. I yelled that out to Rachel Maddow or her San Francisco, San Francisco event. I said, watch this space. She left. I say, hell to the yeah. Uh, excuse me, do you know who I am? So, okay. Um, the real important question I want to ask, and I don't know if you guys watch uh, Revealing Light, Marianne, 
she's got like 77,000 subscribers, but she's also does horoscopes, or astrology. I'm not a astrologer. So a lot of people like that too, but she's dead on. She's the one that I listened to the night that it was like up in the air about Trump or Biden. And I was so scared. And I listened to her show that night. She said, you guys, it's okay. He's Because he, I always said Trump was going to lose, but she amplified that fact. And I actually felt much better. And I was very grateful to her for that. You guys always say thank you for making us feel better. She's one of the ones that, you know, we help calm down the mess. And um, she had a real bad feeling coming up. A couple of days ago, she did a video and. So part of me thought perhaps it's that KC, Kentucky thing. I mean, Kansas City. But the other part of me says it's probably something to do with this Russia, what Russia is doing. They found out some intel on Russia. Russia has some stuff that they're putting into space. And that Turner guy revealed some of it. And then Johnson said, we don't want people to panic. Why would you bring that up? It's out there like it's potential. And uh, that's what I feel it is. I feel it's something to do with Russia. And I feel, it, and I'll double check, that it's not going to, I'm telling you, it feels a little nuclear or something. But I feel there's nothing he can do about it. Like he may try to set off something, but it it's not going to happen. Like I feel like all eyes are on him and the guns are pointed towards Russia. So it feels like they better not try. Like they're already found out. So I I just feel this isn't, okay, but let me look. I might get the tower and 10 of swords and five of swords. Angel of light and mercy. And again, I got to bring up, I keep hearing that like a fire department or firemen and policemen with the sound that they wear. I don't know what they call that, but it kind of lets people know where they are. It's kind of like what I wear when I go into a baker shop, you know, people can't find me, but I'm stuck in the cake department. There she is. There goes her beeper. I cannot emphasize this enough to you. Please forgive me. We can't wish anyone getting hurt, okay? Entertainment purposes only. But there's something really going to happen to him. I'm sorry it's taking so long. It could be April, May. But the energy with him, just like my friend Andre at Astrology Alert says, and a lot of the astrologers say this, between Putin and, and Trump, there it's almost like the two of them side by side. There's a fall. And doesn't it figure that this guy who lied about Hunter Biden, I think he was a Russian operative. That's what I think. But I guess he worked for our government. He was an FBI informant or something. So, so tell me about what is going on with this alarming thing. Um, it says have faith. We should have faith. Um, it's like they don't have enough money to complete the project. Um, they're kind of, they're trying to take a risk, but look at this. God is with us. The emperor is with us. God is with us. And, um, it's also part of his thing that he's trying to acquire property. He's trying to get, he's trying to acquire probably besides, um, um, Ukraine, Poland. I'm telling you, he's fantasizing in his head fantasizing in his head how he's going to do this, this, like he's got it all planned out. They're desperate for Trump to win. And 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 look at this. Eileen, Eileen Cannon has already said, no, we're not going to stop this. Jesus, I think that the uh, Supreme Court is going to say, now, nah, I feel like that soon. They're going to just push it back, say, no, nah, you don't get immunity um, or give it back to the court. We got the March 25th going on. The Fannie Willis isn't going to be set down. Oh, they're going to throw a fit. They're going to, this thing will be, unfortunately, the Fannie Willis thing will probably go to the Supreme Court or they'll attempt to. 
Um, yeah, there's no World War III here, okay? I don't want you guys to worry. Hold your ground. Do uh, put ourselves in the higher realm. Um, some of this stuff is taking place in the fall or there's some energy in the fall. But look at, we have the strengths. We have the ability to see this through. You know, I don't know if you guys remember this, but you remember that we had the ability to put a, what do you call those things you put in a computer to, so you can destroy the computer, a virus. We put a virus in Iran's nuclear system. They had top scientists doing it. Even some of their top scientists died. And I can't kind of wonder if that was a little bit of us. Sorry about that light, you guys. But I feel like we have such great intel. Somehow or the other, we're able to put a worm or something's going to happen that they're unable to complete what they thought they could do. Putin's not as bad as Hitler as far as Hitler would have. If he had that ability, he would have blown up everybody. I don't see Putin doing that, but he's running and he's going to be taken down. But they went to Iran and they went to the nuke site and they put that, it's all, you can look it up, Google it. And they were able to go in there and literally destroy their nuclear abilities by making this thing just eat itself up. It was amazing. They knew the U.S. did it. Of course, we denied it. No, I don't think I ate that last Twinkie, even though there's all kinds of cream on my face. So, uh, yeah, Iran has hated us for a while. Not the people of Iran as much as the, the big wigs in there that think they're all that in a cup of tea, but they're about ready to find out. Oh my God, I'm in such a good mood. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, and also the good news is that gentleman, that one uh, in Georgia, was it Georgia or New York? Sorry. Um, on behalf of the, oh, and then Mike Johnson was up there saying, well, it was bad weather. And, you know, Biden had won that by 8%. So did this guy. So what the hell is he talking about? Like, well, he didn't win as much as Biden. Yeah, he did. Okay. Let's just look, Adrian. Let's just look. I don't want you to worry about the Russia thing, by the way. The thing that I just, I'm almost feeling like deep intel, working it out. And don't forget what I said about Iran. Iran's got some issues coming up. I feel bad about Iran, actually. And I see people coming up from the ground up. So remember, they had a little taste of Western civilization. The women could wear pants, they could go to college. They liked it. Once you have a taste, unlike North Korea, they haven't had a taste of nothing, so they don't know what they're missing. But the women in Iran will will rise. I've told you this, just like Afghanistan. Afghanistan has some issues going on, but God is looking after them, and they're going to be they're going to come through. Okay. So, tell me about. The whole border thing with Mike Mike Johnson. And they're gonna get two weeks off. They don't wanna hear it. They don't you know why he doesn't want to hear it? Because it'll go through. Let's ask it this way. Are they gonna be able to get the five Republicans who but these five I feel are more in Biden country? So will they get the people to be able to get this border deal through? I just heard yes. Ooh, good. Will they be able to get the five to get the border deal through? Oh, by the way, I got Deanne's oils today. Thank you, Deanne. Very nicely packaged. Apparently, once I wear this, the menses will be following me out the door, which means Jack. <laughs> Don't forget, I get a thing, even financially, and it could be involving his church with Mike Johnson. I get some something coming up where he's, you're in trouble, boy. Yeah, something to do with money. They're going to be able to get it through. I don't know how the hell they do it. Interesting that the five showed up. So after all this turmoil, they'll be able to get it up. Um, ooh, 
look at this. Might be in March. March, is there an offer? People deciding, yeah, foo, we're going to go forward. So it's four disappointments before the big thing. So they're working away, and then somebody figures out something, a way to do it. You know, it's just a few people holding this up. It's it's the maggots. And they're about ready to lose power, but it's like, we need this now. Ukraine needs the money now. We need this now. Apparently, the Border Patrol can't work the way they were doing. And it's like they know this, yet they want to turn around and blame the Biden administration that nothing was done. By the way, uh, the, the secretary... The one they impeached, it's a nothing burger. It's like, yeah, whatever. In fact, I see it formally turned around. So when the new administration comes, I see them formally turning it around, like they wanted to do with Trump, but they didn't have the votes. Um, okay, so don't worry about the border. I just see like I'm, listen, this is so exciting. Okay, so what we got here, Trump is, is going to get hit big time tomorrow for monies for New York. People have been saying it, and I'm saying it too. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, he's going to be so mad. Then he's in New York, and this guy says, nah, you're going to do March 25th trial. He can't, he can't breathe. Then the Supreme Court's going to say, eh, no immunity. The guy doesn't know if he's coming or going. I'm telling you, he's going to need his extra strong dieties. So um, it's just going to start happening, you guys. March, April, it's just going to start happening. And and Putin, who thinks that, oh, yeah, Trump is in, it's going to happen. He's furious. Putin actually is thinking of doing something to the United States. He's, he's even trying to think of some sort of terrorist thing or do something to us. Might even be related to banking he might try to start something, you guys, but I see us all over it and being able to say it was it was them. Whatever it is, it's not it's not going to take us over or hurt us too bad. Also, they want me to tell you that the Kentucky uh, Kansas City thing is not a fight between a couple of people. It is a terrorist action. I just heard that. That's what I heard. It's interesting, though. If it was terrorist, you'd think they would have taken pop shots at the players, but they didn't. There was it's some sort of terrorist thing. They, that's that's what my guys just said. So, y'all y'all let me know later. Okay, so I got all that out. Okay, let's see if Fonnie Willis is going to be able to still be on the team. I see that guy, that judge. He's trying to be fair and he's trying to cut off the riffraff because they're fishing now. They just keep going over the same thing over. And that 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 female attorney, did you guys see her? Excuse me, Your Honor. When she asked the question, Miss Willis, what the hell's wrong with your lips? Why are you doing that? Usually people like duck lips that worked for him before. But she's like, Snap out of it. Okay, so let's let's get into this, you guys. I'm so excited. I can't begin to tell you. Um, I want to know if Fanny. Fanny did a good job. She did a good job. She's going to be very reasonable about having cash. And because I'll be honest with you, when it first started, I got a little uncomfortable, especially with that guy testifying. I thought, I don't know. And she paid me cash. And I don't know. She paid me cash. Hold on, you guys, one second. Oh, you guys, I just, I just had it. Uh, hold on. We got my joy on right now. You know, she'd be talking some stuff. Mm. So anyway, when Fonny first came on, she was like, boom, boom, boom. And in a way, it looked like she was shaking a little bit. I thought, oh, Lord, I hope she's not frightened or they're intimidating her. Oh, yeah. Oh, nobody was intimidated. She wanted the record straight. 
she did get a little mouthy and the judge even had to tell her girl you better calm down i'll just dis dismiss you because she was like no you lied you lied that's what i'm saying but she um she did talk about that guy that they're no longer together by the way but you know she doesn't want to give anything against a black man's uh manhood but apparently he had a manhood issue <laughs> Oh my God, she revealed so much. Oh my God, she's so, she is something something else. I bet she's a lot of fun to hang around. I, I bet she, she knows how to size people up real fast. Okay, tell me about Funny. Our sweet Funny. There was just something about her. Like I knew she was going to do real good. And then they were throwing this book at her that she was in. Some guy interviewed. She didn't make a dime on that book. They ain't got nothing against her. They got no evidence that anything she's saying is not true. Excuse my language, you guys. I don't speak professional. Okay, tell me what I can tell. Bonnie. Yeah, she's... She's coming out of the Five of Swords. So this is a battle she will win. It's reversed. She's got the Strength card on top of her with the Nine of Cups. And look at the power will see her through. They can't hush her. Let me tell you right now, she will still be on this case. The judgment is in her favor. And she's going to be working hard on this. There's a lot of work to be done, but she's going to do. They're not kicking her off. I'm kind of wondering if that guy though might go. The guy that's helping her might they might find they're not able to work together. I think she crushing a little bit on him. That's between you and me. I just think she crushed a little bit. But you know, he she didn't like the way he'd be treating women, the way he'd be talking a woman should be in the kitchen making a sandwich. Hello. I'll make you a sandwich and it won't have regular meat. I have my doggy meat in there. Okay, so entertainment purposes only. Okay, so listen, you guys had asked about. Oh, Fonny's coming up for re election November 5th. I think she's going to get re elected because she do not mess. Okay, so. Uh, okay, hold on. You guys wanted to know about Laura Trump. Trump is running out of money. Let me tell you, it's going to be so exciting. I even feel like tomorrow's an exciting. It, it Actually, towards the end of February, it's just bada bing, bada boom. That's what I'm getting. Um, Kelly asked, will Mike Johnson be refusing to bring the foreign aid package? It, it just feels like he will be torpedoed. They're working behind the scenes already. They're talking amongst themselves. They're talking amongst themselves. They're getting a game plan. They're talking to other Republicans. A lot of them are afraid, but they'll do it. Tell me about Laura Trump. Laura Trump. I see President Biden with that, that, uh, uh, the one they just uh, impeached. I see him standing about behind him 100%. And I see that after the the maggots are out, the Congress coming up or whatever, and they're going to do a total reversal. They wanted to do that with Trump, but they didn't have enough votes. Got a little sorry. That's not That's not Jesus with his sword. That's the light from outside. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lana girl, she planned on stealing the money. She already planning on stealing the money. Hoping nobody sees her. Oh my God, girl. Um, he's in trouble. See, the thing is they're gonna be in legal trouble for this because they're not even helping other Republicans. This is gonna be a big, it's not going to go away easily. It's going to be a lot of drama. Um, nine of Swords. And they did it to themselves. 
Trump is going to be in so much trouble coming up. It's just too much for them to even keep up with. So I love it. Oh, so that March 25th judge, the one that said no, they said, but your honor, um, we have the, uh, the Florida case coming up on those dates. And he said, no, you don't. He said, you just asked her to do blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. And then they said, well, you know, he's going to be um, uh, going doing the circa, you know, to run for president. And he said, well, didn't uh, Trump say that he's never made more money than he has since he's been arrested? <laughs> oh, I like that judge. Let me tell you, I like that judge. Let's all take him out to lunch, you guys. Okay. Hope said, thank you so much, Linda, for accurately predicting the Dem, Tom, would win the Santos seat. It was a great speech. Yeah, I did watch it. Thank you. He's going to be a good plus for us. Um, I know our founding fathers never envisioned the Second Amendment to allow the massacre that happened in Kansas City. I think it's a little terrorist action. I don't know what's going to come up later. Can I look real quick? Let me just look real quick. The Republicans that went to Russia that July 4th, it's so funny, someone asked about that. I feel like they were sent by, by Putin and Trump. Listen, they want to remember as soon as he became president, didn't Jared said we're going to do a backdoor so Russia can contact us immediately. And then everybody threw a fit and they said, oh yeah, bad idea. But do you remember that? Yeah, we're going to give them a backdoor entrance. Oh, hell no. Okay, here we go. Um, I just want to look real quick. And um, hold on, hold on, you guys. The Kansas City thing. Fortune's fate. Some people are in charge of this, you guys. They will find out the reason. But be careful because someone's loading it up and packing it like there's more stuff to come. I'm so sorry. You know, like I saw these these guys on, on the news said, you know, I love football, but I can never come to one of these again. You just don't forget it. I remember years ago when my babies were little, I was at the fair in Pleasanton. And we were waiting to go into where the horse races were because they were going to do the fireworks. And we were all just sort of sitting there wait. All of a sudden, a slew of people were screaming, running towards us. And my kids were little. And there was this uh, cement wall in front of us. So we grabbed the babies and went behind the cement wall. And uh, they just ran past. Like It was like a stampede. If we were there, they would have probably ran on top of us. But what happened was someone had a gun and shot towards someone, maybe shot the person in the leg, you know, some little rivalry, and it wasn't. But it scared everybody to where, in fact, they shut everything down and made us go home. We didn't get to see the fireworks. But I'll never forget that feeling of it was like it was in slow motion with the look on people's face of terror. It was really something. So thus, I've never been to the Alameda County Fair again. Okay. Uh, so I told you about July 4th. Is Trump planning to escape? It's getting pretty bad. It's getting pretty bad, you guys. Uh, not quite yet, but it could be soon. Uh, will we ever hear from Garland? I'm telling you, I could be wrong. Let me look at him. I'm almost feeling like Garland is like, after this, I'm done. I'm done. It's like too much. Like what that one guy did, acting like he's a doctor, diagnosing Biden. Yeah, no.
The truth is coming out. My guides want to tell you the truth is coming out. So even with like, apparently there's a couple of attorneys that are going to testify that they know that Fanny was with this guy before. There's lies going on and the truth will come out. The truth will come out. So don't be frightened. Garland, I feel sorry for Garland. Yeah, see, look, he's just really disappointed. Um, he's not having fun on this job. And don't forget when he was first doing it, he had a hard time ciphering through the, the Trump people in there. Has he been threatened? Absolutely. He lives, he's not even feeling well. He lives kind of like, Ugh. but he wishes for, for happier times. And there's a lot of stuff that gets overwhelming to him. There's terrorist things taking on. There's people within his own organization that feel a little bit hard for him. I think the Jack thing is probably working out really well. Jack can't complain to him. Jack has to just do it on his own. Um, the worst is over. So that's good. But I don't see him staying on. I see him, because you know when Trump loses again, either Trump is totally unable to run or I'd love for him to go to the polls and he loses by a landslide. I'd love for that to happen. But I'd love to see why they're going to, you know, like that. What's her name? The one, Carrie Lake. We should just go ahead and give it to Trump in Arizona. No, you don't. Carrie Lake's going to lose bigly, by the way. Oh, wow, I didn't know I said that. Valencia said, Lady Linda, after telling us something big was going to happen on Valentine's Day. I didn't know I specifically said Valentine's Day. And that was big. Uh Will there be more? I just got done saying, yeah, there's a few more. Okay. So Dakota wants to know if Tiffany will testify against her siblings. I see no. Okay. Um, uh, Joan just said, I love Revealing Light. I also just love that you are recommending her channel, Linda. That just shows me how out of your ego you are. No, I got a big ego. <laughs> but, you know, Revealing Light, uh, Marianne and I have been friends for a long, her and I kind of started at the same time. So I've been recommending her for a while. We kind of lost touch because I kind of stopped watching other people's shows. So I wouldn't have their answer in my head when I go to read. That's the hard part. That's why a lot of the psychics don't listen to each other because you don't want to be interpret based on what they say. Uh, Oh, God, Woody said, you're going to start picking the jury February 26th for the criminal fraud trial. Ooh, ooh. Will Trump have to be there and how will it go? Oh, he's busting at the seams right now. I cannot emphasize to you guys. I know the guides don't like us to be happy that someone's miserable, but he causes, you know, yeah, they don't even accept that. I just was going to say, and he causes so much heartache for others that. Oh, there goes my Carrie Lake lens. Um, guides don't like that, you guys. Sorry about that. They, they, they don't like us being gleeful, but it's just what it is, is I'm trying to explain to you guys, but I'm explaining it to them. It's just good to see justice is taking place. It's just good to see that the motion is going forward because he was always getting away with so much. And now it's finally tomorrow, there's going to be the big judgment on that money's in New York. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Tell me about the criminal fraud trial. Light is shining right on top of it. Look what happens to Trump. He's going to lose and he's going to lose big. That judge, he knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Let me give him my phone number in case he needs any psychic advice. Uh, behind him is, he's got a good woman in his life, actually. And he's got good staff, female staff. Success, harmony, and stability. 
People are watching this. Ooh, the battle is on. He's going to be so upset. I love, it, I, love it, I love it. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to be happy. Uh, uh, this is like he has no money. He's reaching. He's trying to find money. Um, Jesus, he justice will be served. So is this like a going to jail child? I know he'll fight as long as he can, but it's almost, I think so much is going to happen to Donald Trump that, like you guys said, like Sterling said, he might just take off or what. I, I just feel like it's, it's huge. I love it. Um, Lisa said, when will the interest rate on housing go down? Next year, baby doll. Next year, and next year, you're going to get be able to buy houses with first-time buyers. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but remember, people ask me, should I buy? I say, wait till next year. M Michelle Obama is not going to run for president. I, I don't know where that rumor happened, but I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Not that she couldn't win. I just don't see her being interested at all. She, she wants to stay away from the White House. I think Marianne just, just so said Marianne from Revealing Light was talking about the national security threat. That's that aircraft or that's something satellite that has nukes on it or something. I see something pretty significant, but I don't see him being able to do anything. Or if he tries to, he gets melted down. Uh, about 10,000 questions, will Fanny be removed? I don't see her being removed. I actually, and I read that before and I think Marianne read it too. We saw her staying on the case. However, I think the guy, the little love potion guy, he's going to go. And he took half in cash and she's, God bless her. You know what I'm saying? God bless her. Because I'd go to get my cash and I'd say, oops, I'll pay you Tuesday. Um, Oh, okay, Mary Crane. She wants me to do a deep dive on 45, but I got to protect myself because, you know, he has some real negative stuff going on. Fox News is going crazy. They think Fanny's going to be kicked off. And when she isn't kicked off, they're going to go crazy. Trump thinks she's going to get kicked off. He's like the whole Georgia thing. I loved how Fanny said, this isn't about me. I'm not on trial. It's your guy who tried to steal an election. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, don't look there. Squirrel, squirrel. Deep dive in 45. Deep dive in 45. Ooh, that's weird. It just got this weird flash, like him going, I can't find my shoes. I can't find my shoes. Something surprising, like he's got to get moving, but he can't find his shoes. Like, wait a second, wait a second. I still have to get my shoes. Something quickly, like what's going on now, like what Andre said, the, the sign is such that he, you're going to see bada bing, bada boom. He's trying to find his shoes. He's talking to people. He's going to be really mad at the Supreme Court. If they say no and send it back, he's going to start talking some trash like he did before about Kavanaugh. He's going to start talking some trash. And they're kind of waiting for it. They know he's going to do that. I don't know why he thinks they'd come to his rescue. Because it would be so egregious if he just said, if they said no, he can have immunity because I know that's not true. They'd love to say, yeah, he gets it, but they know it's not true. And then, you know, when they kept turning him down on all the voting things, he was met. Remember, he was mad at them. He's really suffering with his health, too. Feels like he's having a hard time breathing even. He's talking to somebody, but it's not his wife. He's telling somebody. He he misses 
He misses his daughter. His daughter is not really talking to him. He can't talk to her about how he feels about stuff. He blew it with a lot of people. He getting the cray craze in there. I see that one guy that stepped down, the black gentleman that stepped down talking to him. Oh, he's mad at Cohen. He wants Cohen snuffed. Not that he'll go through it, but I can see him. That guy needs to go. Oh, he's he knows he's in trouble. He's going to fight. He's got some more fight in him, but he's running out of money. And I'm feeling a desperateness looking for the door. That's what I'm feeling. Now, let me clear the energy. I just out of curiosity, since I'm able to hit like this. Let's ask about Putin. Where's Putin at? Yeah, Putin's not happy either. Putin and Trump are the same as far as lying while they're breathing. Putin lives really on the edge because he's feeling his own people will take him out. Oh, gosh. You know, I just got another hit on Trump. I feel like He's supposed to be there uh, for those three three weeks for the trial, but I'm almost feeling like he can't, or they kick him out or something. He, maybe he can't take it. He's, he's, and you know that doesn't help with the jury. If as he found out the last time, if you show your rear like that, the jury is not happy. Um, who's running? Putin's about ready to be taken down. So is Netanyahu. Netanyahu's about ready to go. Um, okay. I want, don't want you guys to worry about Fani. She's She did a terrific job. And I really feel the judges rule in her favor. And I'm glad that happened because uh, uh, revealing light and I, and I need to look at Sterling's, but um, what he said, but I feel she'll get to stay. Okay. Um, somebody asked, will Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's health improve? And I don't feel it's good for Lloyd. So sorry, you guys. I'm feeling like he's going to have to step down. Tell me about Lloyd Austin. I feel like he tells the president, you know, I think I'm, I think you're going to tell him your, your health is more important. He loved the job, though. They'll get somebody else that's good. Yeah, he's got the five of swords. So he's struggling, you guys. He's trying to be strong. He might last another two months, but yeah. He needs to rest. Or maybe he'll last till September, but he's looking at, he might have to exit. I'm not seeing death. I just see him not being being tired, okay? Yeah, Putin will try everything. Thank you for this question, Beth. She asked, how, uh, Putin has never been more highly motivated to interfere, but he can't interfere like he did before because we've got all the fail safes gone. And let me tell you, just like when Trump fired that guy who was doing our IT with voting, he said this was the most secure voting we ever had. And remember he fired him because it was rude and he was in office. Um, I just feel like Putin can't break through. He'll try though. There are some things he's gonna try. Okay. I'm going to um I'm going to tell you, Arnett, Arnetta, that the Israelis will stop the carnage against Pakistan. I see something happening, something pretty significant that Everybody's really upset with Netanyahu. So something, some foot is slammed down. Somebody's like, enough. Might even be crimes against the human beings because it's like, it's a little bit much. I saw that one last thing there. Um, uh, the Dems wrote a letter to Mike Johnson asking him to stop having white nationalist pastors offer prayers. No, he, he won't stop, but that's okay. He's going pretty soon. God, everything's out. Everyone's asking about Fani. 
You guys don't worry. We have a, David said, we have an exact Pluto Mars conjunction at zero degrees Aquarius. If I'm not mistaken, it's been 140 years since the last occurrence. Could this energy, the energy of this conjunction be contributing to the mass of K? I think so. Absolutely. Is Fanny Willis' friend Robin? I saw her, by the way. Uh, she's pissed and she's not telling the truth. She's out for vengeance. I don't know why she said, oh, she got fired. That's why. Well, they told her either you're going to get fired or something. That she, somebody talked to her on the side. She said, oh, yeah, I'll say that. What type, kind of impact will Robert Hurst's testimony in front of Congress have? And will it harm, benefit, or have no impact? It's actually going to harm him. Okay. So this is wonderful, you guys. <laughs> I'm so exhausted by all this. That Frida said, I don't blame your girlfriend. Tucker Carlson is a nothing burger. I don't want you guys to worry about him at all, especially when our new administration comes in next year. We only have a little while to go, you guys. Hope I live that long. Pretty soon all this, you know, although I'm seeing Trump out of the picture. So we might have people all pissed off because their, their man didn't get it. Okay. Islander, you are the star of our lives. We will have another event like January 6th. I'm not seeing that. Let me tell you why. Let me make this very clear. Please put on your reality glasses. The reality is a lot of people got in trouble for January 6th. The reality is he brought people in there under false circumstances saying that the, that he had been robbed, that, you know, this had, this had taken, and they believed him. Because how could he lose to somebody like Biden? I mean, they just, so everybody was looking for a fight, okay? So I noticed, and I've told you guys from the beginning, whenever he had to go to court, he got money. He was happy to be arrested because he got money. But every time he went to court, he wanted, I seen him in New York looking, looking to see if, if, you know, his people were there. He wants the adulation. He wants them like, oh, well, sorry. Like he'd love them to march and go crazy, but it doesn't happen. Even down in Florida, of course, more Lago wouldn't even let them use the toilets, but a few people out there with the flags, he doesn't get the crowds like he did. They might come to listen to him, but everybody likes a clown show. You know, yeah, I would go, I would pay to go see him talk just to see the performance. He's, it's a nothing burger. I'm telling you, he's, it's, and he, the more he talks, the more he, he's sucking himself in a deep hole. What he's saying is not helping him. I don't know why he would think I'm going to be a dictator. You know, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this. And, and people don't pay their way. I'm going to tell him no. And I'm going to let Putin take what he wants. No, it's not going to happen, dude. And I'm the one that did the, you know, that stopped abortions. Oh, yeah, you're going, dude. Uh, now, Darren, as far as nukes in space, the ETs are not going to allow it. I don't care what they say. There's already been ETs that have stopped stuff that even China's put up there. They've imploded on their own because the ETs will not allow it. Got about 10,000. Will Fanny be disqualified? I could be wrong, but what I'm saying is no, okay? Okay, so, oh, you guys are so cool. So a lot of this is repeats, you guys. Um, and Merrick Garland is very tired. Mary, she's very tired. And and I do think she, I th Merrick Garland's about ready to, to he's going to leave. I'm telling you, he's going to complete the job done. I see Biden want him to stay, but he's like, no, sir, I'm tired. And Biden is hanging in there. Marianne looked at his health and right now it looks okay. You know, he's going to have some stuff come up, you know, but Jesus, I, I meet 90 year olds. Look at, 
Clint Eastwood, I think, is 90. And he's directing and producing movies. So just know that Biden will hang in there as for what I can see in the next couple of years. So he'll win. And then, you know, the worst case scenario is that our VP, Kamala, is going to be, and I'm wondering if she's going to take uh, Pete Budalicious. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know for sure. You know, RFK Jr., they did that commercial on uh, on the Super Bowl that they copied his Uncle Jack, Jack F., uh, John F. Kennedy. And I guess the family was livid and he made a formal apology because whoever he hired to do a commercial took that. I don't think he approved. I don't know. But I was glad to see he apologized. But he's, he's a nothing burger, you guys. And he doesn't take any votes away from Biden. He takes them away from Trump. Okay, so right now it looks good, you guys. God, everybody's asking about Fonny. Uh, everybody's asking about Fonny. I'm worried about Princess Kate. She's going in again, you know, for, uh, I think she's being reconnected or something. I don't know what this is. I'm worried about her health. And I think the king will be able to, to stretch this out so much, but he feels a little terminal himself. So God bless them and send prayers out. Uh, speaking of prayers, I'll probably do prayers tomorrow, you guys. So if you want to send in a prayer, send it to Grindle9103 at gmail.com. So thank you for showing up and listening to this. Um, I would have done it live, but sometimes I can think better without looking like that. You know, I can come up and I wanted to do more of a whatever. But the thing I woke up with this morning was that that the emergency um, thing that goes off with the fire department, just like in 9-11, all you heard was that those things going off. Remember how awful that was? I heard that. So maybe that's not even the U.S. It could be somewhere else, but I heard that. Okay. Love you all. I shall talk to you. It's not going to be Sunshine lollipops. Now, yeah, a lot of things are coming up with Trump. In a way, because a lot of things are coming up, I do see Putin and other people trying to do some underhanded stuff. Like, oh, I'll show them. But it, we're going to work out. Okay, you guys. Love you. Take care.